it's me, I am Chesley here with Karen, the voice of me, and here we go. That's right, Chesley, here we go. We're so glad to be here. And you didn't get my hair fixed, and I look tanky. I'm sorry, Chesley, if you look tacky. I was hurrying, and, and you know, then I got a mess on my computer that I had to change a password or something, and it's just a, you know, I tell you what, she was just being dizzy, but she got me out, that's a good thing, uh, here I am, I'm ready to go, and you see all, all, all my medals, I see all your medals that Kai gave you, that was so kind of him, Kai lives in Texas, and he sent those up to me, or his wife did, and, and, and I'm so glad that, that he was for it, oh yes, he was for it, that was his idea, he wanted you to have his medals that he had, that he earned, and, and I didn't earn them, I just got them, that's right, you didn't have to earn them, but you were just an honorary member of an honorary no an honorary not honorary but you're an honorary member of royal rangers and so we appreciate that and so we're glad jesse we can get on into our story this gospel train is chugging at the train chugging at the train chugging at the train this gospel train is chugging at the train chugging to the glory landing get on board this gospel train yes you can yes you can get on board this gospel train yes you can yes you can that's right jesse we can by asking Jesus to come into our heart, and we want to live for him all the days of our life, and, and, and read God's word. That's right, read God's word, and tells, gives us ways, and tells, shows us how that we are to please the Lord, and, and make Jesus happy, and that's what we want to do. That is exactly what we want to do, and that's what we try to teach each week on here, help us to make good choices. I know we talk about that a lot. Did I tell you what? Those choices are important. You can get in a fix like this guy did. That's right, Chelsea. Our story we're going to talk about today, it's not just a story. It, it's a true happening. It was this man named Shimei. Ooh, did he shimmy a lot? No, Chesley. It, that was a name. You know, it was a, a, in that country, that was a name that was probably possibly a common name. Shimei. Well, we're going to talk about this today in our scripture reading today. We're not going to be we don't have a, one specific verse, but we're going to, it is from 1 Kings chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 and then go to verses 36 through 46. No, and, and so the shinny he, he shinny he didn't do the right thing. Well, that's right. I guess you might say this he kind of shimmied back and forth and he would you know, he he just didn't make good choices and we're going to find out today. He made he made those costly bad choices, and you, you know something to death. You know what? Uh, you know when we make choices, we can't blame anyone. You know, just that that is a really a good point. Sometimes a person will get into trouble, and it's because of their choices. And so, and see, they don't like when they already know what the rules are, and, and then they don't want to abide them. That's right. Then they don't want to abide by them, and they think that well, you just shouldn't have made those choices. But really, when choices are, are when they are are given to us what are the, the rules or what are the things we're supposed to abide by and, and, and they'll keep you happy it'll keep you happy and so some people decide that well i don't like those choices so i want to make my own well what happens then well they get into some trouble you're gonna find out that this guy he sure thinks that yes he did well you know chelsea this is back in in the days when uh, David was the king, and oh, he had some sons that had turned on him. You know, they was wicked, vile guys. And it was a terrible thing. Yes, it was a horrible thing, Chesley. They turned on their father, but he had made some bad choices, so they didn't really respect him. You know, that's a serious thing. They need to have a family meeting. Uh, they did need a family meeting. What they needed to do, just let the Lord guide and direct their lives and you know, David, though he was a, a great, he was a good king, he made some really serious mistakes. And, and, and so the, the kids didn't respect him. The kids did not respect him. I'm sorry, they just did not. But Chesley, but he had been chosen the king by God. And, and so he, he's the man. He is the man. And so, but he, he made, he did make a lot of good choices. But as far as his family, he wasn't always the best dad. But Chesley, here's what happened. Now, when uh, he had a son that turned on him and he said, I'm going to become the king. No. And now what's he going to do? Is he just going to get him, put him in jail? No, he didn't put him in jail. But it was so serious. And many of the people believed this son of his that he would make a better king. And so they turned on him. And now, and now King David is in some trouble. What's he going to do? Yes, he is in serious trouble. Oh, he's got to get out. In fact, those that were for him, the people that really loved him, they said, it's a matter of, of your death, life or death. We've got to be in. So they just taking him to the place of safety. Yes, he was on his way to a place where he would be safe. And here came a man out named Shimei. You know, that's this guy. And he's going to make a choice. He made a choice. He began to swear and talk horrible and, and curse this uh, saw uh, the king david he made all kinds of rude remarks to him you know he was 
being disrespectful. He hated him. Oh, he just had him to know how awful he was, what an awful king he was. He said, you're so awful and all, and said, all you want is bloodshed and kill until he just got on him. And he didn't know the whole deal. He did not know the whole story. But you know, he thought, I'm going to be, I'm going to be for the, his son. That's what I'm going to be. This old guy, King David, he's out. So he just made all these remarks. And, but you know, when time came, God had turned that thing around. And so that his son was not the king. But instead, now David was coming back you know, because it was a safe place. And, and, and then, oh, Shania, he's in trouble. He's going to go to prison. Well, he didn't. As he came and he realized he had made a terrible mistake. I know what he did. He said, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Well, he, he did come back and say, oh, I made a wrong choice. That was a wrong choice I made. You better delete it. Wasn't he going to take for it? Well, that's not what David, King David said. He thought this is not the time for that. Well, he was just just behave himself and mind his manners and do the right things and just the obedience, not being, uh, he was being a jerk. Well, Chesley, he was doing the wrong thing. He had made a bad choice and now he's coming. I know he isn't. I don't think he means it. Well, Chesley, whether he meant it or not, you know, we don't know. We don't know his mind. I, 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 I think he just knew he was in trouble. He was going to get himself killed. Well, he did, and no doubt, think I knew he was in trouble, but he wanted to know I've changed. I don't know if he did or he didn't. But Chesley, all I know is that King David, he said he, he, was, not going to, he was not going to put him. He said, I, I'm not going to put you to death. I'm not going to do that. He said, this is not the time for that. So Chesley, as time went by, though, and King David, he got really old. As King David was getting older, and then he had, uh, you know, he, he just, it was an awful things were going on, and had a, another son that turned on him. Oh, and now, and now, who would have that old Shimei? Well, not Shimei, well, he's not involved in this one. But then, uh, then that, that son, that was taken care of. But now, you know, as things were, David was getting older, and he did know, that, you know I tell you what, I think God, God's going to, well, his son is going to be a good guy. His name was Solomon, was was born and the Lord said that's my choice is Solomon will succeed you and so the time came oh I mean it was getting rough around there and so it was here come this a man a Solomon that it, it's King David made him the king and I said he said he is the man that's who I want to be the king but he King David told him he said now about Shimei you know he's gonna deal with that guy because he, he he's not really honest man but he said he said I want to tell you about this man he called, he said, uh, I want you to deal with him. He said, there is with you Shimei, the son of Jared the Benjamite. Now, it was he who cursed me with a violent curse on the day that I was having to leave. But when he came down to me at the Jordan, I told him that I would not put him to death with the sword. Now, therefore, said, do not let him go unpunished. You're a wise man. And he said, and you'll know what, how you ought to deal with him. And said, you'll take care of him for what he did. But he said that wasn't for me to do. It's for you. It was. It was for you. You know, like uh, I said, what's he gonna do? So King Solomon, you know, he's known for being very. He, he was wise. He's known for being very wise, the wisest man ever. And so King Solomon sent for him when he became king. Well, he came. He sent for Shimei and said to him, he gave him a choice, a good choice, and and he said, build for yourself a house in Jerusalem and live there, and do not go out from there to any place. That's what he said. Don't you dare leave. You stay inside of Jerusalem. And he had been told, to, it had been told him to know, if you ever go over the brook Kidron, he said, you'll know for certain that you will surely die. That would, don't make that choice to do that. And so it's pretty easy to need. You just stay there in Jerusalem. That, that's it. That was just really easy. Just stay there. Jerusalem was a good place. He could be there. Just stay there and be safe. He, so that was a choice he had to stay there and be alive or, or get an aunt to leave there and get yourself killed. That, that was it. It was just very simple. And so it was up to him if he lived or if he died. So what he did, though, so here he said, well, that's, and he said, oh, he said, King Solomon, that, that's just good. He said, that's really, that's really good. I like that. And the Bible says that Shimei lived in Jerusalem for many days. Oh, I know something happened. Something happened. Yes, it did. And in verse 39 of 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 39 says, But it came about at the end of three years that two of the servants of Shimei ran away to, the, to, another, to a king of, of Gath. And they told Shimei, saying, Your servants are in Gath. And Shimei got up and he arose and he saddled his donkey. No, he better watch out. He better not go. He better send someone else. But Chesley, he didn't. His Bible said he went to Gath, to Achish, to look for his servants. 
and Shimei went and brought his servants from Gath. Uh, did he get permission? I don't see where he got permission, but he was told what would happen. So Shimei's costly bad choices. He's made a bad choice here, and he, he was very rude and disrespectful to, toward King David. And he just now, he, now he's going to make another bad choice, it looks like. That's what he did. He rose and he saddled, but you know what? You know what I think he thought? Nobody did that. I sneaked out. Did he go at night? He might have gone at night. He thought he was sneaking out. No one would know it. Oh, yes. But somebody did see him. How do you know? It was there spies? I don't know if, if uh, King Solomon had spies watching his, his house. I don't know. But the, the scripture says in verse 41, It was told Solomon that Shimei had gone from Jerusalem to Gad, but that he had returned. Uh, you know, it's okay then. He got to think. Uh, well, no, Chesley, he wasn't supposed to leave. Because what happens if he said, if you leave? If what would happen if he left? Yeah, he's going to get himself in big trouble. He's getting himself in big trouble. So it's important that we make wise choices. When we have, and it's up to us. And you know, it wasn't King Solomon that made him go. All he had to have done was gotten permission to send somebody. He could have done that, sent somebody. He could have told King Solomon, this is what's happened. Uh, I've got two of my servants have gone. Uh, could I get somebody to go and get them? But he said, because he could have said, I know I'm not supposed to go. And he could be showing uh, that it was your sample. He could have been showing respect and obedience that he was going to follow. But instead, he went sneaking out, running out, and now word has got to him. Oh, and so what happened? The king saw him sent for Shimei and had him come to the little one. You know what I think was happening at that time? What was happening? No, I think he was shaking his shoes. And, uh, uh, but you know what? Oh, what? What, what? What do you think he did? What do you think? Well, uh, Chesley, I know he's really made a bad choice. He, you know what I think he's thinking? Yes, I think he said, I'll just explain it to him and he'll understand. Uh, he thought he could just explain it to him. Uh, yeah, that these guys ran away and, and I just had to go get him quick. Um, but Chesley, he should have gotten permission. That was a choice he had to make. It was not his choice to make the choice all by himself in this case. He, didn't, he was not to make that trip, but he did it anyway. And so... King Solomon told him what awful thing he had done. He said, what, said this is not a good thing that you've done. You said, you know I told you what would happen if you, did, if you did this. And he said, so you have made your own decision what's going to happen to you. And that day, he lost his life. Shimei's costly bad choices. Chesley, you know what? In, in Early in life, it's important to make those good choices. Start making them. If we start making good choices and stay with that, that's what we'll do. We'll be, that'll be almost like a habit. That's what we know is the right thing to do. And, and you know what? Especially when you serve the Lord. When, that's right. When we serve the Lord, we make good choices. We want to obey Him. And, and how do we know what it is? It's God's Word. God's Word tells us the choices we are to make. You know, we, in fact, we just do they just do like Jesus did. That's right. Jesus made good choices. That, and we're so glad that he did. He was our great example. And one time he, he did get lost in his parents. Well, see, he didn't think anything about it really. He had, he didn't. He was probably just going playing with the other fellows. And when it come time to leave, they was all going to be in like a caravan together. And he didn't really realize, you know, what all was going on. And and he was, but he was back at the temple, and he was, uh, he was just so engrossed in what he was doing. And, and, and his, his parents didn't, they thought he was in the caravan, the parents thought he was in the caravan, and you know, he might have thought, well, I, I'm just here, and I'll be fine, and he was thinking, well, I know where I am. The, that, that's what I had, my, a, a cousin said, uh, said to her, her, her dad, my uncle, and when they questioned, said, you didn't call us, and he said, well, I knew where I was, the, the, the cousin said, well, I, I, I knew where I was. You know what he said? He said that I didn't. That's what he said, but I didn't. So the parents didn't know where he was. But, but Jesus, nevertheless, when they said, son, please don't do that again. Oh, Aunt Tanya's watching. Aunt Tanya's watching. That's right. We're glad to see her on. Haven't seen her in a while. But you know what? This man, Shimei, lost his life that day because of a choice he made. And it wasn't Solomon's choice. It wasn't King Solomon's choice. It's what he made. He said, this is, this is the rule, and this is how it works. And if he, everything was going well until he disobeyed, until he disobeyed, not Solomon, but Shimei did. So the king commanded that day, and, poor, and there went old Shimei, 
He lost, he lost his place. He lost his life. Chesley, it's important that we make choices because I, that are good choices. I heard a lady say one time, we make choices and they make us. We make choices and they make us. They can make us happy. They can make us sad. In this case, it was a, a sad thing for this man, Shimei. Chesley, may we just put our name there, in there that I'm going to make wise choices. You, like Chesley, we'll make wise choices. Because you'll see that I do. That's right. I will see that you do. Because you're pulling the strings. Oh, yes, Chesley. But Chesley, I think it's important. This story, the Lord has been bringing to my heart for a, quite a long time. So I, today was the day to, to use it. So we're so happy that we could do it today. And Chesley, I want to stay in my mind. This has always bothered me about this man. I thought he had it made right there in Jerusalem. He was all taken care of if he had just obeyed. It's so simple. And yeah, it's something you to get. I don't think he forgot. I think he just on purpose. And I think you're stalling. Uh, I'm not even sleepy. I know you're not even sleepy, but it's your bedtime. This is going to the train. It's checking the train. Chesley, we already did that. Tell everybody goodbye, and you'll see them next time. Next Sunday afternoon, the Lord willing, we'll be back with the Bible story. And if you have the one you want to hear, you can you put it in those comments. You put it in the comments. You be blessed. We'll see you. We love you. Bunches. Bye-bye.